Greetings, once again. Uh, today is something slightly different, as in it's not bamboo, it's not an arm. This is the wife requested build of the Rainbow Pushinicorn PC. The important statistics about this PC were that it was cheap and small. So here I uh, cut the fan cables off the fan and combined the non-power ones together because that made it shut up about not having a, a fan connected. So that worked fairly well. Uh, something that didn't work very well, I uh, attempted to hook up something to the power switch, ended up breaking said power switch, and because my soldering skills are terrible, this is where I glued on a couple of wires to attach a new power switch. All right, I'm annoyed. This thing has made me solder. Soldering. I'm not good at it, I don't enjoy it, and I had to have a friend come over to give me moral support just to attempt it. But at least it's fixed. Uh, over here is where I put on an SSD. Uh, I also ended up attaching that piece of foam you see to keep the metal parts in the SSD from sparking against the metal parts in the frame itself. And my original plan was to have the power switch in the horn of the Pushini Corn, which was slightly classier, but now my new plan is resorted to it being in the butt. An important proof of concept, I just found out that the PC actually does fit inside the Pushini Corn. Off camera, I actually did take it back out and remove the case to save myself a little room. It just looked better with a little bit more stuffing inside. Hmm. <laughs> And now we have the one true use for a soldering iron, which is, of course, melting holes in the skin of a stuffed animal. This let me make room for the power supply, the HDMI, and the four USB 3s. This dollar store keyboard came with some very fancy RGB, which could be turned on and off by hitting the scroll lock button, because no one used the scroll lock for anything. I decided that wasn't quite good enough and decided to write a little script that would automatically write to the scroll lock if I, if I clicked on a certain icon. So I decided to write that script. In Visual Basic. Because I myself am basic. Here it is, emulating a GameCube with good audio, good video. Uh, the only thing I have to report is that it did get a little hot after running for a while because some idiot ripped the fan out of this computer. Thank you to the good people at Pixabay for providing some of the audio for this. And thank you for watching, and if you are so inclined, feel free to like and or subscribe. Goodbye for now.